It was a shocking crime that rocked the world of basketball and left basketball legend Michael Jordan shattered to pieces. On July 23, 1993, James R. Jordan Sr., the father of NBA superstar Michael Jordan, was murdered in a senseless act of violence that would forever change the course of his son's life. The story of his death is not just one of loss. It's one filled with desperation, misguided choices, and a haunting aftermath that continues to raise questions. James Jordan was just a regular guy, a loving father who had dedicated his life to supporting his son's dreams. On July 23, 1993, he was driving home from a family gathering when he decided to pull over and take a nap in his car on the side of Interstate 95 in North Carolina. Little did he know that two teenagers were lurking nearby in search of trouble. Larry Demery, 17, and Daniel Green, 18, were not exactly the poster boys for good decision-making. Both came from troubled backgrounds, and that night, they decided to commit a robbery. When they spotted Jordan's red Lexus parked on the side of the road, they saw an opportunity. They approached the vehicle, and in a moment of panic, Demery shot Jordan in the chest. It was a senseless act, a father killed in cold blood over a car. After the shooting, the two young men moved Jordan's body to the passenger seat and drove off, leaving behind a crime scene that would haunt the community for years to come. When Michael Jordan received the news of his father's death, he was at the height of his basketball career, basking in the glow of three consecutive NBA championships. The loss hit him like a freight train. He was heartbroken as he grappled with the unimaginable reality that a cold-blooded killer had taken from him something he cherished the most, a beloved father. In the days that followed, Michael found himself wrestling with an overwhelming sense of grief and anger. The media frenzy surrounding the murder only added to the spectacle. Speculation ran rampant, with some even suggesting that the murder was somehow linked to Michael's gambling habits. This ridiculous theory was fueled by the fact that Michael had been known to enjoy a good bet, but it was nothing more than a baseless rumor. The truth was far more tragic and straightforward. A father had been murdered, and a son was left to mourn. The investigation into James Jordan's murder was swift and intense. Law enforcement quickly traced the last calls made from Jordan's car phone to the two suspects. Within days, Demery and Green were arrested. The police found Jordan's car abandoned in a nearby field, and it became clear that this was not going to be an open and shut case. During the investigation, it was discovered that the young men had made a series of poor choices leading up to the murder. Both had minor criminal records, and bad decisions marred their lives. Demery, who would later testify against Green, claimed that the robbery escalated into murder when he pulled the trigger. Green, however, maintained his innocence, insisting that he was not the one who fired the fatal shot that killed Jordan. The trial began in 1994, and it quickly became a media spectacle. The courtroom was filled with reporters and spectators, all eager to glimpse the drama unfolding. Demery's testimony painted a grim picture of the events leading up to the murder. He described how they had planned to rob Jordan, but panicked when he woke up. The jury listened intently as Demery recounted the moment he pulled the trigger. Green's defense team, however, argued that Demery was lying to save himself. They claimed that Green was not even present at the crime scene and that Demery was trying to shift the blame. The trial was filled with twists and turns, and it became clear that the truth was murkier than gas station coffee left out till mid-afternoon. In the end, the jury found both men guilty of first-degree murder. They were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. While justice had been served in the eyes of the law, the emotional toll on Michael Jordan and his family was far from over. The sentencing was a bittersweet moment for Michael Jordan. While he was relieved that the men responsible for his father's death were being held accountable, the pain of losing his father was still fresh. In the years that followed, Michael struggled to find his footing. 
he took a break from basketball, stepping away from the sport that had defined him to process his grief. During this time, he often reflected on his father's influence in his life. James Jordan had been more than just a dad. He was Michael's biggest supporter, his coach, and his friend. The void left by his father's absence was something Michael could never fill. As the years passed, the case continued to attract attention, not just for its tragic nature, but also for the lingering questions surrounding it. In recent years, documentaries and investigative reports have revisited the case, raising doubts about the validity of the convictions. Larry Demery, who had remained silent for decades, recently spoke out, providing a detailed account of the murder while still denying that he pulled the trigger. His narrative complicates the existing understanding of the crime, suggesting that the truth may be more nuanced than previously thought. Daniel Green's legal team has sought to re-examine the evidence, arguing that inconsistencies in Demery's testimony and forensic evidence warrant a reconsideration of Green's conviction. The case remains a poignant reminder of the complexities of justice and the profound impact of violence on families and communities. James Jordan's murder is not just a story of crime. It is a story of loss, grief, and the search for justice. Michael Jordan eventually returned to basketball, but the shadow of his father's death loomed large over his career. The tragedy shaped him in ways that fans could never fully understand. As time goes on, the questions surrounding the case continue to linger. Was justice truly served? Were the right men convicted? The answers remain elusive, leaving a trail of unresolved grief and speculation. In the end, James R. Jordan Sr. was more than just a victim. He was a father, a mentor, and a man who loved his family. His legacy lives on through Michael Jordan, who continues to honor his father's memory in everything he does. The echoes of that fateful night still resonate, a chilling reminder of how quickly life can change and how the choices we make can have lasting consequences. And as for Larry Demery and Daniel Green, they remain behind bars, their lives forever altered by a single terrible decision. The world may have moved on, but for them, the reality of their actions will never fade. The untold story of this tragedy is a complex web of choices, consequences, and the enduring power of love and loss.